The least we can do is invite her over to dinner tonight. Yeah. Feeding one more person sure ain't gonna send none of us to bed hungry. That's right. Wow, Ma, that's a pretty big chicken you're cooking. If you're having chicken for dinner, then we have no problem having one more guest. Because Ma is the number one chicken mathematician in the whole ghetto. <laughs> Make a chicken last for three days. <laughs> Hold on now, JJ. I'm pretty good at making meals go a long ways, but three days? Well, now that's kind of stretching things. Oh, Ma, it's just that you haven't kept track of your mathematical wizardry. Day number one. You slosh the bird around some boiling hot water, we got chicken soup. <laughs> Day number two is the teaser. You take the wings, the thigh, and the neck, and you got something so yummy, it tickles the tummy. Oh. <laughs> Day number three, you got the leg, the thigh, and the breast, and you got something so light, we call it chicken dynamite! Well, your mama's gonna have to be some kind of magician to get Gertie over here for dinner. How so, baby? Just tell her we're having chicken and she'll come on over here. We didn't have her over here for dinner before. Yeah, once or twice a month. But you gotta remember, we just had her over to dinner day before yesterday. Now, if we invite her back again so soon, she's bound to get suspicious. She's a proud woman. Yeah, I know that, but we just gotta figure out some way to have her over here for dinner, that's all. Yeah. Thelma, you and J.J. set the table. Okay, Mom. You want me to set a place for Mrs. Vincent, too? Of course, Thelma. <laughs> <laughs>